but that's insane. I know what you're thinking. Hair surgery? What the F are you getting yourself into this time, girl? <laughs> Trust me, when it comes to hair, I feel like Panama is always on the cutting edge of innovation with imports from Brazil to Venezuela and more. So let's explore some hair in Panama. So I'm here in Panama City and I'm going to be exploring the hair scene. Aquí no se encuentra una mujer con mal cabello porque honestly, I feel like hair salons are such a way of life in Panama. It's super common to frequent the hair salon like at least, at least once a week, maybe twice a week. If you guys didn't know, I'm actually half Panama and so I grew up coming to Panama like every three or four years. So I've been here a bunch and anytime I come here, I would always do like some kind of hair treatment, bring back home products. I found a lot of amazing products. Like everything is always treating the hair and combating frizz because it's super humid in Panama. So those are all of my issues. I feel like the majority of women here also have like curly hair. So I just feel like curly hair is a little bit more high maintenance than straight hair for sure. So there's a ton of treatment here just to calm the frizz and repair and have healthy, strong looking hair. I'm going to be doing what is called cirugia capilar. That is like the new thing. Every time I come, since I come like every four years, it's a new one. So the last time I was here, it was like chocolate terapia, which they straighten your hair with like some kind of chocolate situation. Like it's honestly treatments that I never find in LA. So it's always so mind blowing to see how many treatments that they have. I feel like back home, it's like, oh, the keratin treatment. If you want to combat frizz and that's kind of it. This one that I'm going to show you guys in this video, Cirugia Capilar, which it sounds so intense, super dramatic, but it basically translates to hair surgery. Super intense, right? So my hair is already looking super sleek and I'm telling you, they do the best blowouts here. I never really go and get my hair blown out in LA because they don't know how to manage my hair. Here, my hair is smooth and you guys, it has been raining every single day. Super humid, we're basically in a rainforest, so like it's kind of insane that my hair is like this right now with just a blowout. No products in the hair no flat iron, literally just a blowout. So let's go ahead and start at this place where I got my blowout. It's called Maravilla Beauty Club. And then we'll hop over to surgery right after that. Quinoa mask, which was one of my favorites, and the keratin impact. I really love this line. I first heard of it from here in Panama. Obviously, Panamanians know their things when it comes to hair. I'm here at Maravilla Beauty Club, and I'm going to do a blowout. We have Eduardo here. I always talk about how great the blowouts are here, so I wanted to point out some key things that I noticed. I think these things really make a difference with the type of hair that you have, in my own opinion. So if you have curly hair, I would say blow dry with a brush, like a round brush that has nylon bristles that easily comb through the hair. And then also it has boar bristles so that it really distributes the oils and it creates like more of a softer brushed out texture. And also I noticed that narrow nozzle attachments are really the best for like pro looking blowout. And of course a powerful blow dryer to quickly dry the hair as fast as possible to prevent as much heat damage as possible. That's what we see though. Wow. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got to the salon and we always start by, we, she always starts by washing the hair first. So it's very similar in a sense to like the Brazilian blowout, but this one does not have any like formaldehyde. Hola, como están? Estamos en Panamá. Aquí está mi salón de belleza. Vamos a hacer una cirugía capilar, lo que le llamamos anti-freeze. She was telling me that there are so many different treatments here, so many different products. I was telling her that like in the US, there's not a lot of treatment for the hair. 
and she was like, oh my gosh, so how, are, how is that possible? Your hair is like not healthy over there at all. Like I said, you start by washing the hair first and then she applies the product and then she's gonna blow dry it and then straighten it. So we'll take you through the process. Like I said, she begins by applying the solution all over my hair with that little brush and then she saturates all of my hair and combs it through just so that the solution is dispersed evenly. And then she does a rough blowout while the product is still in the hair and using a setting of at least uh, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, she flat irons my hair to kind of seal the hair. Look at Chevere's vainilla. This treatment is packed with fatty acids to repair the hair. It seals the ends and adds a lot of brilliance and shine. It definitely helps regain the softness that the hair has lost. So right now it is a little dry, but um, yeah, it's because the product is still in there. So this is the finished result. It does feel a little bit like rough, but once I wash it, which I get to wash in 24 hours if I wanted to, but she said it's better to leave it for three days, that way it lasts longer. So it's very similar in the sense to the Brazilian blowout. Seriously, go see her, she is the sweetest and she really like is thorough with the process. I'm gonna update you guys back home when I wash it and I'll show you what it looks like dry it naturally as well as me just blow drying it. I will see you guys back home, bye. Okay, so now I'm gonna go wash it off. It has been about four days. You can see my hair is pretty greasy already. So I have been dying to work out. So today's the day. We'll see how this turns out. So I just finished washing my hair. I used, I've been really loving this whole system. This is Pros. So it has, it's silicone free, sulfate free, paraben free. Um, it's made specifically for me. So I bought both the shampoo and the conditioner, so that's what I use. So anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. This is actually for the Brazilian blowout, but because I do feel like it's very similar, um, this is basically like a step three. It's an ionic bonding spray, so it just allows it to last a bit longer. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna spray my hair with this and then let it dry naturally, and I will show you what it looks like. So this is how my hair is drying. It is almost dry. I would say it's about 70% dry, but um, I really, really have to do some errands and stuff. So I'm just going to quickly dry it out, style it, and I can show you guys finally what it looks like. But it's so much more calm. Like, there is no frizz whatsoever. There's like a few little flyaways, but that's insane. So I am done blow drying my hair. That was so fast since it was almost dried. It still has a lot of shine to it. I haven't put any product in besides that step three that I showed you. And I don't really love my hair like stick straight like this. So I'm gonna close that messy ass room. <laughs> I'm just gonna curl the front sections really quick. Super, super shiny. My ends don't look as dry as they once were, once upon a time. Not only looks healthy, but it actually feels so, so soft. I can't stop touching my hair. Honestly, my hair is never this shiny, never. If you're in Panama or if you ever have plans of visiting Panama, I would definitely recommend the places that I visited. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I really love to find out what is big in beauty and fashion in each country that I visit. So if you guys are into that as well, I would love to show you guys more as I have a lot of travel plans coming up. I believe Shanghai is next. So if you guys want to see some kind of like beauty scene or if you have any recommendations for me, I would love to hear from you. I will meet you in the comments down below and give it a like if you liked it. 
Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.